If you having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. I got the rap patrol on the cat patrol. Foes that want to make sure. Welcome to another episode of the Teenage Gamer. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys today about something that kind of upsets me. Um, so I was texting my friend, we are having a conversation, and we got to the topic of video games and stuff, and then I brought up that the fact that, oh, I'll ask for a 3DS for Christmas or something. And then he says, hey, this is how our conversation argument started. He asks, why would you get a 3DS? There are much better video games coming out for the Vita, and 3DS will be upgraded later. It has horrible battery life currently, and no second thumbstick. That's That was him. I replied to that by saying, they aren't going to upgrade it for a couple years. Most of the games on the 3DS don't need a second analog, and if a game would be better suited with dual analog, there's an an attachment that adds one coming out in March. Also, I find that the games coming out for the 3DS are far, far more appealing than the Vita. Star Fox 64, Mario 3D, Mario Kart 7, Ocarina of Time, Luigi's Mansion 2, Kid Icarus. Personally, I don't even I don't need Uncharted or Resistance. I've never played Uncharted, but I don't find Resistance very interesting. And I added to that, oh, and the new special edition 3DS l looks effing gorgeous. And then he replied to that, Dude, Resistance is basically Gears for PS. Uncharted is amazing. V Vita's graphics are as good as PS3, and 3DS comes out with an upgrade every year, so don't give me that crap. I guess it's just a difference of opinion, but in my opinion, 3DS is meant for kids, and Vita is meant for gamers. That was red alert for me, so I immediately defended that, and then I said, Holy S-H-I-T, I can't believe you just said that. Come on, 3DS is delivering some of the best handheld content ever. See the list given before. That's when I was talking about Kid Icarus and Star Fox and stuff. I don't deny the power of the Vita, but that gives the, um, well, but having a portable console that gives the same power as a home console defeats the purpose of having a home console. Side note, most people think the 3DS won't come out until, the next 3DS won't come out until 2013. A lot of people think that, just, you, you can check that. So, and even if it does come sooner, I'll trade in my 3DS for a $100 discount on the new one. Or, you know, how they do those trade-in deals at GameStop, that's what I was talking about. Um, just out of curiosity, what are the top five games you're most excited for on the Vita? I don't think he ended up answering that question, but let's keep going. And then I added to that, oh, I forgot to mention Smash Bros. 3DS. He retaliated by saying, Super Smash Bros. is coming out for Wii U, too, and it will take forever to come out. That's true, he's not, he's not wrong on that. And I highly doubt it will take that long for a new 3DS, especially since the... They already know about the battery and thumbstick issue. They are already trying to comp compensate for it, for Christ's sakes. And honestly, Nintendo has always been geared more towards kids. Oh, he said it a second time. He said it a second time, you guys. That's when I started getting really defensive. And, you know, compensating is not exactly what they're thinking about. The, and a lot of people say that the battery life doesn't even bother them. So, I mean, if, if it really is not bothersome, great. And that's one reason why I want to get it. Okay, so I, my retaliation to Nintendo was more geared towards kids. I responded, that's not true. They appeal to everyone. Can you honestly think of a Nintendo franchise that only kids play? Pokemon? Nope. Tons of people of all ages play it. Mario? Nope. Zelda? Nope. Wii Sports? Nope. Kirby? Maybe, but no. Um, e rating stands for everyone, not kids. Modern Warfare and Halo are the same. How many six-year-olds do you come across online for those games? Lots. But does that mean they're kids' games? No. Boom. Roasted. I added to that, um... He's an Office fan, that's an Office reference, if any of you get that. And then he retaliated by saying, 
Okay, Pokemon is for kids. Can you honestly say that you can take an adult who plays Pokemon seriously? Mario is slightly better, but still for kids. And then there's more to it, and I'll just stop right there for a sec. Um, Pokemon is very in-depth, but I could see what his point it, to me, it would seem a bit ridiculous that, see if I ran into some 30-year-old playing Pokemon, but I wouldn't have any loss of respect for them. I would think it's cool that they're doing that, because, you know, it's such a great game. And then think about all the people um, on, like, the internet, they all talk about Pokemon and stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. And, honestly, Pokemon's a great game. Why? I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. And he says, Mario is slightly better, but still for kids. Yeah, he's kind of got a point there, but I don't think so. Um, you know, Mario is just a good platforming game. Just like, well, there's plenty of platformers, and they're all based off of the Mario formula. And he says, Zelda is fine. Yeah, they're all my friends are big Zelda fans. Um, just because six-year-olds play Halo doesn't mean it's meant for them. He obviously didn't understand my point. Oh, and keep in mind, guys, I adore Halo. I'm not bashing it at all. Um, my point is, real gamers don't play Nintendo. Oh, oh that. That, he's, he's some using some fighting words here. And then he adds, Let me just say, Nintendo is really good at trying new things and getting people excited about their innovations. But in the end, it's just a gimmick and gets old. Motion controls, old. Stylus, touch screens are better. Plus, they hardly ever do anything worthwhile with a second screen. 3D, while while cool, since it's glassless, it will get old. I guarantee it. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me just go back to the points he's made. All right. So gimmicks. Yes, lots of people think that Nintendo's things are gimmicks. And by the way, um, my friend that we're talking about here. He's not a fanboy. He owns every single one of the consoles. He apparently just does not have a preference towards Nintendo. I mean, you know, lots of people haven't played their N N Wii's for a while anyways. But, um, you know, motion controls, y no, they're not old. I would, I would completely disagree. Look, think about the Kinect, think about the Move. They just came out, what, a year ago? Motion controls are still a brand new thing. I mean, they only got started six years ago. I mean, imagine ten years from now, we'll probably still be using motion controls. In my opinion, you know, with a gyroscope and stuff, you being used in, like, iPods and stuff, that's still motion control. It's just in a different sense. Okay, and then uh, 3D with, without glasses will get old, I guarantee it. That's probably true. A lot of people don't like 3D. Alright, so then I retaliated with that by saying, Well, the original 3DS was made before touchscreens were streamlined. That's kind of a useless point anyways. And even without the 3D, the 3DS is a great system. If it was the same without the 3D, it'd still be worth a purchase. That, I like how I said that. And he says, well, without 3D, you wouldn't need a new 3DS. Oh, here we go again. So then I replied, yes, you would. Basically, you think the 3DS is a DS with 3D. That's, that's what a lot of people think, and a lot of misconceptions. It's not. It's significantly more powerful. Have you seen the graphics? There's a video of a 3DS running a version of Crisis on YouTube. That's true, you guys. Look it up. Um, there is no way in hell a DS could do that. Completely true. They did make a version of Halo for the DS, though, but it wasn't that good. Anyways, um, there's no way in hell a DS could do that. There's also a gyroscope, accelerometer, the AR tech, not exactly great for games, but makes interesting mini-games. The new slider provides far more movements in the game. Even without the gimmicks or innovation, Nintendo still makes great games. They just suck it online right now, lol. And then I actually told him, I sent him a link to um, DC1983's video, basically about this same topic. And he makes some great points, you guys should watch it. So here we go. Then he replies, the graphics are not that much better than the DS. The whole appeal is the 3D and it's stupid. 
you are entitled to your own opinion, but to but in my opinion, it's a kid's system. Oh, I hate when he says that. Okay, so I replied, did you not just read my last text? Look at the best graphics on the DS. Can look at what the best graphics on the DS can do versus the best of the 3DS. It's a huge difference. Hell, just compare Mario Kart DS versus Mario Kart 7. The DS has much smoother edges, better detail, and there's more to the gameplay. Just watch that video I posted on your wall. And my friend replies, I've played with both, and honestly, there isn't a big enough difference uh, for me, even to consider getting a 3DS. Nintendo graphics still suck, no matter how they compare to their older systems. Okay, I don't know what his last point there meant, but, um, okay, let me tell you something about crappy graphics. Crappy graphics is 30 years ago. Those were terrible graphics. Nowadays, what we can do is pretty amazing, even with the Wii. It's, it's pretty amazing. Look at Skyward Sword. That's beautiful. Look at the color in that game. Look at the color in, um, Mario Galaxy. Okay, these technologies are just now growing, and they've been growing fast in 20 years, okay? In 10 years, the Xbox will be the worst graphics you will ever see, when we'll have seen in 10 years. They'll be terrible. I, I can, well, provided that they can go further, because a lot of people are saying that uh, the current graphics can't get a whole lot better, which might be true. Anyways, keep going. So, I replied to his by saying, the main point of gaming isn't graphics. It's about who can be the most innovative and who has the best ideas. That's why Halo is pretty much is pretty much my favorite series ever. They do things with shooters that most companies hadn't thought of. Example, plasma grenades and the alien weapons. I don't know if those two points are true, so I don't know. I just love Halo. Um, so don't nag me about that. Um, Gears is great because of Horde, its, uh, its cover system, and the ever-iconic Lancer. Um, Call of Duty is fun because it's a fast-paced end of the customization. Uh, though Call of Duty is getting really repetitive now. Just saying, guys, it is. Um, Assassin's Creed has taken parts from Prince of Persia and has thrived on it. Also, your Xbox and PS3 wouldn't exist if it weren't for Nintendo. Who made the D-pad? Who made the A and B buttons? You know who developed the PS1? Nintendo. Google it. They were involved. That is entirely true, you guys. Um, they didn't help a ton. But Nintendo did contribute to the PlayStation 1. So, that was pretty much it, you guys. Just a little rant going on. I don't know if I went too fast. Uh, it's a pretty long video. So, this friend and I are no longer friends. I'm never speaking to him ever again. Just kidding, we're still friends. This doesn't really matter. And Basically, we just let the point drop and we just agreed to disagree. We said, um, my last thing I said was, point is, if I had the money, I'd buy it all. But since I don't, as far as handhelds go, I choose Nintendo. That's pretty much it, you guys. Um, that's how I feel. I feel that Nintendo's hand ha handhelds have always been better. Um, I can't think of a single game on the uh, PSP that I would want to play, except for maybe Monster Hunter. I'll put this as a reply to uh, DC 1983's videos. Um, just wanted to bring some points up, address them, address some concerns. Uh, thanks for subscribing, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, I don't know when this video will go up. I'll hope to put it up as soon as I can. All right, see you. Bye. Have fun.